You gotta make sure she stays lubed up. This stuff, that's nasty. So it's perfect for this. To lube your ball inside your swivel. I think a lot of people kind of neglect this spot. Unfortunate. morning everybody we are off headed to pretty much the neighbor's house this is the guy that let us borrow at 23 to do that tow test last year he still got it I should do a follow-up story on how that got fixed after the rats got into it but towing the little hoss looks like i probably could have uh went up possibly one round on the trailer ball adjustment Looks like it's sagging down just a little bit, but I don't know, maybe optical illusion in the mirror. You can definitely feel the, you know, the higher deck height. That's definite, that's a fact. I think it's the end of the world. It definitely opens a lot of doors. Having a full deck over, I think this trailer's gonna work out real good. It worked out slick, not having any ramps and just hitting the button with the remote to load it up last night. Just look at it there. It looks slick, huh? So we gotta do a little bit of zigzagging and then hopefully uh, pulling up into his driveway. He's got the same trailer and uh, well, he made it, so let's see if we can make it. Oh, the fun driveway. Let's see here. I'm saying it's chill, but shows me it. Oh my god, that was a battle. He's like, it's compacted, it's one cube. Squish it with a 309, it'll be good. Well, it's battling us. That one, I don't know about that, but we got this one in here. All right. Ah, too far! Oh no! I thought that was a snake with a shovel handle. That's funny. Somehow we got that mesket on there, and now we gotta get this up on there and a tiller. Yeah, what happened to the rose bushes? I just took them out with some scraps.
we're just trying to reclaim this parking lot area right here. I'm gonna get this all scraped down. Hopefully I can scrape off this vegetation. Getting a little bit through it right there. And then he's gonna get some gravel. Got stuff to haul off. And limited is, yeah, limited space for turning around and parking is probably underselling it. finding all kinds of goodies yep didn't have enough room in the dump trailer 7 by 14 ain't quite got it sauce but we're making progress this is looking pretty slick down here I don't remember what's this thing no I don't remember the last time he had his excavator in here what all he did to open this up I'd imagine this is all mulch down here but blackberries they just don't care they come through but he's wanting to sell this place and he's got in new fencing for the horse and other animals so we'll see if this idea sticks but just kind of spitballing some ideas here this looks like a nice spot to ease up through here with a horse trailer and make a U. riddle me this though the horse trailer community when you guys have a fifth wheel or a gooseneck horse trailer i mean why are those things always a quarter inch off the bed rails? I don't know. This that wouldn't come up through here. So I'm going to take all this and fill in behind that. That's a stump right there. So I'm going to try and fill in there rather than pushing it off the sides. I think that'll work out.
Here we go, chime in and state the obvious. If the question is asked amongst the commenters, why I didn't just bring an excavator over here to knock this out, well, that was actually the original idea, was to bring an excavator over to load the scrap, which would have been super easy to do, and we might have been able to fit more in there. And then we still needed to blade this off. I would have brought an excavator over. But the limited access of parking and entrance, that is a big, big concern. So we talked about it, and I asked, can I do what we need to with the skip loader? And he said, yeah, probably about four hours worth of work, and literally hit it right on the money four hours. I think it worked out better to scrape this all off with the skip loader anyway. That way you don't have a bunch of uh, highs and low spots. Typically, if you're using a blade on an excavator, you might have, you know, deeper grooves here and there. Yeah, you could do a good job with either, but I think this worked out good. Well, that that's enough skip loader for a day. Four hours, which seems like a lot to do this little area, but the, it was hard pack right here. We were trying to scrape all the vegetation off, most of it I can. You go too much farther, then you end up just kind of messing with the grade and stuff and then if you got a soft spot then it digs in then you got a ditch but down here turned out really slick needs to get some stone in here make a nice little loop i don't remember there ever being a loop option right here every time i drove by here i seen big trailers backed up in here but that's a pain in the butt you could literally with i'd say with a gooseneck and flatbed you could make this I don't know what you do once you get up there. Zigzag and shimmy around a little bit. Get that scrap out of the way. And then you can back up there. So this project's done. Let's go ahead and get the new trailer in action. Get towed on out of here. Ooh. This is basically the dovetail off the big trailers. This is the whole ramp is the trailer. Park about hydraulic doves and hydraulic power units like this. Is when you're on a steep hill, this thing will plant itself. I'm going to do a video testing, see if this thing lifts itself up, because it's a lighter trailer than the big trailer, obviously. So it should be able to lift itself up, change the tire. Got the key fob. I had people tell me when I got the hydraulic duh back in the day that it was too slow. So they would be faster by flipping the ramps up themselves. Well, I was still loading the machine and it was raising the ramps or tilting for us. So I don't know how you beat that, but let's chain it down and get out of here. Yeah, that's a wrap. We are done out of here. Anybody says, oh, why are you using ratchet tie downs for a tractor? Yeah, thing is under 10,000 pounds. What's the difference between this and a car? There's enough to do that job there, no problem. And it's way easier. Plus, this thing doesn't have a lot of tie down spots, though. So not scuffing the paint. Let's go. Cool.